What year were you born? 2004. 2004. How old are you? 16. This thing's definitely over 20 years old. This thing has been sitting here longer than you've been alive. <laughs> So a little tractor therapy today. Um, I sold the something that's been here for over 20 years. We're gonna go find it. It's a bobcat attachment for an old skid steer. It turns it into a bobcat ripper. Can't find anything without a JCB tow truck. Oh, start it up. So I think I know the general vicinity of this bobcat. But it's been a while since I've uh, seen it, but we're gonna go see if I can find it. My memory serves me right. Man, we should blade this. That is it. I think it's in this row of stuff. Do -do -do -do. I think I see it. I think we have found it. It's back there. Double check. Let's see how good the pallet looks. I'm gonna guess it's not in good shape. So we're gonna have to move that, that, maybe that, to get to that. That's the puppy. It is sitting in the same place as it was when we probably took that picture that you saw on the website. Just so you know, I'm standing on a lot of moss. Lots of moss here. But, uh, looks complete. Um, we're gonna get it on a newer pallet. This pallet's pretty old. Um, it's kind of coming back to the world. Going back to her. These pallets are in rough shape. I, I had them on the pallet and then the pallet broke. What was gonna be a very simple task has turned into a tedious task of getting that, uh, getting the Bobcat Ripper. I'm gonna have to go get some more pallets. I found some pallets. Fresh pallets. I'm gonna guess we're gonna need about four of them. Oh, that was better operator. That wouldn't happen. Oh, shnikes. Anyway. Pallets usually have a, a good five years before they're really bad. We test that here. I guess that pallet that fell apart at me is over five years old. Just guessing. This is gonna be really dirty. If I don't get a, a nail on the foot, I think I did it wrong. I see the new guy coming. He's gonna help. Let's see how much muscle he's got. What's your name? Jared Hootie. He's the new guy. Yeah. And he's gonna show me how much muscle he's got. The goal is to put this on a pallet that we can ship to Montana. Last thing that, last time this was moved, Jared? Uh, you weren't even born. I'm gonna guess. What year were you born? 2004. 2004, how old are you? 16. This thing's definitely over 20 years old. This thing has been sitting here longer than you've been alive. <laughs> Anyways, but we gotta move this stuff to, for us to get it. This is for a bobcat. So, um, we're gonna have to move these. I'm gonna, I bet you I could try to pick them up with a forklift, but I think the same thing's gonna happen there as happened here. Well, oh, there is nothing left of the pallet. These pallets are old, yep. That is correct. Um, so we're gonna have to put it on a pallet.
Well, we have picked it. And now I uh, realize we need a bigger pallet. Now we must find a bigger pallet. There she sits. You can kind of see this part attaches to the back of a, of a bobcat. So when you're driving it forward, these rippers rip the ground. These are kind of gay, like little skis so you can gauge your grip height. Kind of a unique attachment is, I've actually never seen one on a backhoe. I told this guy it's gonna need some hoses, maybe even a cylinder to get it functioning again, but just the engineering that went into this is pretty cool. It's an old stock number, old truck stock number. It's a good sticker right there, good sticker. Lasts a long time. I'm still in search of a long pallet because I'm gonna need a longer one than a normal standard size pallet. Um, I know where to get one.